If you can't file a lawsuit and go through the discovery process, depositions, requesting documents, you're never going to know that these studies are on a shelf somewhere. Discovery is kind of like a public records request for private companies. If you don't have that ability, you'll never see that evidence. So what are we left with? Well, we're left with a federal agency, the EPA, or some sub-agency. Maybe they'll protect us. But did you know these corporations can go lobby these federal agencies? They can come to them. They don't bring this study over here. They bring the studies that work for them. And they go to the EPA and they say to the EPA, look, it's safe, and this study says it's safe, and this study says it's safe. So what are you going to put on the label? The EPA doesn't necessarily have the ability or even the guidance, the requirements, to do that sort of detailed work. And they don't have the ability to go find these studies. That's what trial lawyers do. That's what litigation allows. I'm, I'm not trying to convince you that trial lawyers are heroes. If you've come to that conclusion, then I'll let you go there. But before you condemn lawsuits, before you condemn trial lawyers for the damage they cause, I want you to keep this in mind. And you may already know this. There is only one place that a single solitary citizen of this state, even of this country, can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a corporation, a multi-billion, multinational corporation, and have a shot at getting justice. And it's not in these halls, and I'm not being overly critical of how this process works, but it's not in these halls, and it's not in the executive branch, and it's not with the federal government and all of its agencies. It's in a courtroom where that individual standing next to their attorney can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the corporation and say, you caused me harm, this is my evidence, bring your evidence, and let's let 12 people, people we don't know, listen to it and decide what they think. That's not a bug of the system. It's by design. That's how the framers felt it should be. That the weak that the unprivileged should be able to stand up against the powerful and seek justice, because that's what America is. Thank you, Mr. President.